Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a quick play. So here we are playing Jacko on the NES. This is a Goodwill find that I've actually found. Uh, it's over in Connecticut, and I stuffed that at Goodwill, and I found the actual game. And this is playing on the real hardware. I decided to hook up my real NES, the front loader. We'll see how long it plays without freezing. And this game was made by Konami in 1988. As you can see, Jackal, what a fancy looking title screen. I'm playing on a 50 inch Samsung 4K TV, and I'm using an HDMI upscaler. This looks insane. All right, so we have a little bit of an introduction right here. What a helicopter, look at that. What the hell is that? All right, so we have a vehicle right here. I have to go around shooting. I played this a couple of times in the past. Gotta run people over and there's like a, appears to be like a tank shooting at me. What the hell is that? Gotta kill that thing. It's really, really nice 8-bit graphics and the upscale looks really insane. It actually looks pretty good. You can see a lot of details on the 8-bit sprites. Looks pretty damn impressive. Now when I went to Goodwill, I actually found probably about 10 to 15 different games. So I'll probably do a couple of them at a time. And this is one of them that I actually found right here. It's actually pretty cool. I picked it up for uh, 4 or $5. I didn't really get a really that great of a deal on it, but I don't come across these games that much anymore, so I bought it regardless of what the price was. I still own probably like 60 or 70 NES games, and this pretty much adds to, to the bunch that I have. I might start a new series. Uh, it's recording actual real hardware footage on my HDMI upscaler, just to see what the difference is, because the, uh, the upscaling footage actually... The graphics look pretty damn cool on the upscaler. It actually looks very, very impressive. Gotta blow that boat up right there. And I just got hit by a tank. Shit. Look at this. Uh, I'm using the Elgato game recorder. To record this old footage. Can you believe that? The Elgato is actually designed for like Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, all that stuff. But you're actually playing a game console from 1984, 1985 on the damn thing. It's pretty damn insane. And then we have Blades of Steel. This is another game I picked up at Goodwill. And I believe I actually uh, recorded this game on an emulator in the past. But this is the actual real hardware over here. Check this out. And it's playing on an upscaler. The uh, the graphics look pretty crazy on a large screen. It looks pretty awesome. Blades of Steel. And we're here. We can actually uh, have an actual voice. That's pretty cool. And it's nothing like playing on real hardware. It actually is pretty awesome. New York versus Montreal. Oh boy. Face off. Ah. All right. So we're playing in 60 frames per second also, which is actually pretty cool for an older console. So uh, what you can actually do is you can actually pause the actual gameplay footage. And it's like a screenshot. There's no blur, there's no distortion or anything. It's actually pretty cool. Now let's see if I can score before I uh, ping up my boots playing this game. Oh, that was close. I'm getting my ass destroyed. That's it. The crowd, the crowd actually looks really nice. It looks, I have to admit, it actually looks pretty good. For an NES game, that was actually pretty good. And then I came across Rad Racer, and as you can see there, the uh, the NES is uh, not doing too well. Let's see if we can fix that. Push the restart button. We'll see if that fixes anything. Well, I did come across Rad Racer. What the hell is that? Is this Rad Racer? Alright, so uh, here we are playing. I think I'm playing Rad Racer. I pushed the reset button and a completely different title screen came up, so I'm not sure. Let's check it out. We have some turbo going on here. Oh, I crashed. What the hell is that? So my favorite racing game on the NES is actually Knight Rider. Eh? Definitely that game is awesome. Rad Racer I never really played too much. I can tell you it is pretty cool though. 
I like the turbo feature on it. You hold the up button down and uh, you get turbo. And all of a sudden you crash. What the hell? Get back on the road. Oh yeah, this is that game that if you hit the select button, you actually have a uh, 3D mode, which is actually pretty crazy. You have to have the 3D glasses for this. Hear that, or you can play it and pretend you're drunk or something. You just drive really, really fast and blow your engine. Oh, what the hell? The music's really cool. You hear that music? Gotta slow down a little bit. When you turn corners, you have to make sure you slow down. The game is definitely much more faster paced than Knight Rider. A lot more faster pace. And the graphics are definitely uh, better to a certain extent. You see in Knight Rider you had first person view. This game you have like a third person view. You can actually see the outside of your vehicle. It's actually pretty cool. So let's try shutting this off again and we'll see if... Um, see there's the title screen right there. Now for some damn reason... When I hit the reset button... Something else came on. I'm not sure what the hell it was. That's what came up. Okay, so that's the select screen. So apparently when I hit the reset button, the select screen immediately came up. You can actually choose whatever uh, vehicle you want, I guess. You probably don't want to play the game really too loud because uh, what the hell's going on? Did I blow my engine or something? Oh, the time might have ran out. But yeah, like I was going to say, you probably don't want to play the game too loud because the sound effects are slightly annoying. Like the car engine sound effect. So that is Rad Racer. On the uh, NES, had a little bit of technical difficulties at first, but the NES uh, is playing it perfectly fine right now. I also found uh, this game, Tiger Howie, which I actually, I don't... Honestly, I don't think I ever played this before. I'm not sure what the hell this is. Let's check it out. Have some uh, fancy looking graphics. It almost looks like something from Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at those trees. Look at that. And we have uh, the helicopter right here. Look at that fancy looking water. The uh, upscale looks actually pretty cool with that. It's some type of a shoot 'em up game. You can see there. So apparently whoever donated these uh, NES schemes to Goodwill, first of all, they're crazy. I'm not sure why they did, they, uh, did that. Uh, but there appears to be a lot of shoot 'em up games. So whoever donated these games to uh, Goodwill uh, enjoyed playing shoot 'em up games quite a bit. I had to clean off the cartridges also because a lot of them had a specific name on it. I wonder if I can find one that has that name. Garland. So, whoever Garland is felt the need to write their uh, name in permanent magic marker on nearly half the cartridges that I bought, which I bought, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about ten cartridges. And I also found a few Atari 5200 cartridges too, which is pretty cool. Now, this is the actual computer playing this. And, uh, the game itself. Graphics are somewhat mediocre for NES, I guess, but it's not a bad find. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I also found this game, if I can get it working. Let's see if I can uh, make this work. Come on. You can do it. I might have to uh, go into the cartridge. Oh, here we go. The Karate Kid. There's the title screen right there. <laughs> that didn't last long. I wonder why it's LGN. This is the life of playing an actual, real, original NES console. Alright, let's push start real quick and we'll see if we can play the game. Alright, so this is Karate Kid on the NES. Kick, kick you in the balls. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> the, the graphics look okay. They're not bad. This is basically a fighting game of some sort. I think that LJN recycles their uh, sound effects, because I could have sworn that I heard that sound effect before. So this game is about karate. You just have to pretty much beat the shit out of you. That sound effect, I heard that sound effect before in a, in, dif in a different game. I'm not sure what game it was, but... I believe it was T and C Surf Designs that I heard that. Yeah, take that. 
Maybe it was Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but I swear I heard that before. Alright, here we are playing the uh, next game that I found at a Goodwill store. Wrath of the Black Ninja. And uh, I had to blow the cartridge out on that one, and I almost blinded myself there was something inside that cartridge. I'm not sure what it was, but... It's made by Tito. These children are vanishing from the streets of New York City. So a little bit of a storyline to this before the game starts. This is almost like a Ninja Gaiden type game, so let's see if we can start the game. There's a whole huge story to this. What the hell? It's never ending. Look at this. All right, New York City, part one. Okay, so it's basically showing you how to play the game, which is actually pretty cool. So here you are, you're a ninja. <clears throat> and in the background, you can see the uh, New York City. So you're probably in one of the boroughs of New York City. I'm not sure exactly where you are, but I mean, it's got a lot of people committing crimes. What the hell is that? That was pretty, uh, scary looking. Yeah, take that, you bitch. Oh, oh shit, that was me. What the hell? It's so weird playing on the 4K TV with a uh, NES console. This is pretty strange looking. You can see, like, literally every single pixel. It's actually pretty awesome. Let's jump up here. So this is basically, uh, <laughs> just basically a ninja platformer. That's about it. I'm not sure whether to say it's a good game or not, because it seems like it's alright, it's not bad, the controls are actually pretty good. Now we're inside of a building. What the hell? I'm not sure where exactly we're supposed to go from here, so we're gonna walk back out here. You can see they're shooting from those buildings right there, and they have basically the same enemy popping out. Over the place causing problems. Well, now we have a couple different guys here, but no matter what guy or person I grab, whatever enemy I grab, it's always the same exact face. I'm surprised I never played this before. It's actually not too bad. I just have to figure out where the hell you're going, and I really don't know what the hell to do in the game, to be honest, but. But, you know, NES games are much like arcade games. You just pop them in to play them, and that's it. You kill uh, like a good 10 minutes or whatever. And the game's actually much, very much playable and not that bad. It's pretty fun. Oh, shit, this got killed. So, game over. My ninja just pretty much got messed up. <laughs> 